Aquarius darlings, welcome to my sect of the universe. This is Jess with Capella Wellness, here to help you step into your truth and star into your power. For those of you who've never been here before, welcome. Thank you so much for being here for the first time. I'm so glad you're here. For those of you who are returning for another weekly, thank you for rejoining me for another one of these readings. And to those of my who are my subscribers? Thank you so very much for your love, your loyalty and support. It means the world to me. I am forever grateful to each and every one of you. Um, I want to mention that I have my first Capella class. People usually call them master classes, but I wanted to do something different and call it a Capella class on reintegrating the divine feminine. I have three different sessions for those. If you want more information, you can stick around to the end of the reading or you can check out the description box below on more information about what that entails and um, how to book it and the dates and times and things like that. Um, also, if you would like a personal reading with me or a coaching session, that information is in the description box below, all right? I wish you guys a wonderful, beautiful, motivational, inspiring week, and I wish you a happy Valentine's Day. With that being said, let's get into your reading. Hey there, Aries. Welcome to your weekly reading. How are you? I hope you are doing awesome. I hope your week is going well also. I wish you, uh, I send you much love and many, many blessings for this week and the weekend ahead. All right, Aries, if you've never been here before, what we're going to do here is we're going to see what your overall theme is for this week, what you need to focus on, and what you need to avoid for your spiritual growth, because that is what this is about. So you can align yourself with and attract the many blessings and miracles God has waiting for you. Stick around to the end so you can see what other guidance we have. We'll see what your affirmation of the week is, what crystal will help you with your healing. And lastly, we will see what's going on with your love situation. All right, Aries, let's see what your overall theme is. Remember, time is fluid. Even though I say this week, this is really a timeless reading. I also highly recommend you watch your moon, your rising, your Venus, and your north node signs. There are a lot of changes coming up with the astrological transits. So um, it would behoove you to get uh, a larger picture as to what energies are surrounding you and how to navigate them, okay? We have three. Creativity, distorted masculine, and intimacy, all right? Bottom of the deck is spiritual maturity. All right, so this bottom here really ties into what this is this is spirit really suggesting or well, really telling you aries that true intimacy is not sex right that's the view of the distorted masculine now we all have masculine and feminine energies within us and usually what happens as we get older, we become more distorted. And this is not a negative thing. This is not something that's supposed to be judgmental or uh, degrading. This is just what happens. Distorted means it's the opposite of the divine. We are here to get to be, to, to become the divine masculine, divine feminine. Okay. So um, for some of you, this is talking about, um, and one of the messages here is thinking that, you know, intimacy is strictly sex instead of just like, you know, being in this blissful state where they're not even doing anything in the tub. There's all this, these candles around and flowers. They're in this bubble bath or whatever, and they're just holding each other. And they're not saying anything verbally. They're not doing anything. But I guarantee you a thousand percent, they are communicating telepathically and they're feeling the energies between them. And it's magnifying them. And they're just resting together. That's what true intimacy is, especially when you can be vulnerable because they're naked, right? Being naked is kind of like the star card, that vulnerability, that newness to you, and you're not afraid to be your true authentic self. And when you're not afraid to be your true, your true authentic self and to not be vulnerable, um, you have a deeper bond connection with someone than just anything physical. And sure, this is physical, but this is not sexual in nature per se, right? Because 
we don't see anything going on. It could lead to something later, but then their bond is so deep that they'll end up having more of a sexual union than just sex, period. There's a very, very huge difference, all right? And in order to be truly intimate with someone where you can reveal all your secrets, you can tell your person what your your goals, your dreams, your aspirations are, and your person won't laugh at you. They won't say, oh, really? You think you're going to do that? That's impossible. Or you're not capable. Or you're not good looking enough. Or you're not smart, en and not smart enough. You don't have the capital. You see what I'm saying? If you're dealing with somebody like that, Aries, that is not your true person. You're, there's no in true intimacy there if, if you can't connect on other levels other than something physical. All right? When you have more of a spiritual bond, you have the true meaning of what intimacy is. That it comes into your relationships. And it's not just with romantic ones, right? Not with a lover. It talks about relationships in all forms where you're afraid you're not afraid to express your true self and that ties into spiritual maturity. That in order to have like this really harmonious connection relationship with someone spiritual maturity is involved. I see the hermit card with this where you go within and you really reevaluate your life's experiences and you learn all those lessons from them and it helps you to become enlightened and to have these epiphanies and say, wow, you know what? I just realized this about myself and you start getting closer to God. You start getting closer to be more in alignment with your higher self and when you are spiritually based you're no longer tied to the 3D world, you know, with the materialism and um, superficiality and things like that. You start to see the divine in everybody and in yourself, of course. And you start to have more connections on a spiritual basis. Um, and while, you know, that that path to achieving spiritual spiritual maturity may be a bit treacherous, it's winding, right? It's not a straight path. There's barren times and there's fertile times, right? There's always ebbs and flow in life. That's why Spirit's suggesting you to go through the ebb and flow of life so that you can really um, not be so affected when crazy things go your way, right? Because you'll have some droughts and then you'll have, you know, some uh, harvest or something like that. But at the end of the day, when you go through all that stuff, you will get to the top of that mountain and then you will really understand, you know, your path through life, through everything that you went through was to get you to that pinnacle, the apex, right? And with the eye there, I'm seeing third eye chakra and crown chakra here where you're completely enlightened and those chakras are unblocked and you really see things through your mind's eye, not with the human eyes that God gave you. All right, and when you achieve that, again, then you can come into harmonious union with someone and then you have that journey together to continue the healing together and start to continue on your path towards fulfilling your, your mission as a divine couple. Because if you are drawn to this video, Aries, you have a very significant mission, especially with individually and with your counterpart, and it's spiritual in nature, especially if you are a light counterpart or what they call twin flame, but my angels don't like that term if you haven't heard me say this already. Um, I don't like to put labels on it, but this is about having a divine spiritual mission with your person to be that example of the divine couple and, and showing the world what the true roles of divine masculine and feminine are. All right. So when you really reach this and you go through your own path, you have to not only value and respect your own path, but you have to respect and value the path of someone else. Just because you're aligned doesn't mean somebody else is aligned. And it doesn't just go with your counterpart. It just doesn't go with a soulmate. It talks about everybody else that you interact with or that you have some sort of relationship with, right? It could even be a friendship or something. So usually we have to allow others to kind of get to their apex at their own time, right? And when we're not rushing somebody to heal, we're not rushing someone to get to the top of the mountain, 
you're allowing the universe to work its magic. You're allowing the universe to work on that person because, again, everybody's journeys are different. Everybody's timelines are different. And it really is based off of what is in your birth chart. That is everything and anything. And I have seen some birth charts, especially with Divine Masculines, where, um, you know, they're really distorted most of the time. We're all distorted most of the time until we get to that divine level. Um, and a lot of the, the masculines, they're distorted because they have very, very hard aspects in their charts, which means they have a lot more karma to pay off, which means that their journeys will take longer, all right? But at the end of the day, you are focusing on your path and you are respecting the path of somebody else's. Because again, it's it's according to God's plan. It's not your plan. It's not your person's plan. It's not everybody else's. It's God's plan onto what lessons they need to go through, what hills they need to traverse, what roads they need to take, okay? And again, it's going to be barren. It's going to be fertile. It happens. It's part of life. You cannot have light without dark. So um, you've really become mature and you don't become distorted when you understand this, where you are respecting the path of somebody else, Right? And I'm pretty sure, Aries, you wouldn't want anybody to rush your healing or force you, right? I can't be the one to tell you, Aries, you know, you have one week to get to this level or to, to break this barrier or to, to heal this chakra, that type of thing. I give you the guidance, but it's really up to you on what you do with it, right? But when you're not triggered and you're not trying to rush your own healing or, or your path to get to the apex here and you're not doing the same thing to your counterpart your person or other people you're not you start moving more away from distorted energy because distorted masculine wants full control they think god has no part in it but then what happens their world is barren you don't see anything growing here do you time i'm running out of time it has to be this now it has to be that now we're living in this you know amazon prime doordash microwave uh generation um this life that we're living where we want everything now and everything has to be faster it's like well we're the clock's ticking i need it now like we're, no time is an illusion that's why i said at the beginning it doesn't exist. It's not according to our time. It's according to God's time. So a lot of us get caught up in this 3D world like I talked about. We have to get out of this, this 3D energy because that's not spiritual. Getting all caught up in the 3D world and materialism and things like that. The jobs, the 9 to 5, 401ks and... Um, I have to do things this way because society says it. That's distorted. You end up falling away from this energy here and being more tied to the divine. So when you're consumed by time and money and work, Look what happens to your world. There's destruction there. There's chaos. It's kind of like a tower card. Nothing's growing. Nothing's fertile. It's kind of like you're on the left side of this mountain here. Right? So, with those energies here, See with that light here shining at the uh, the pinnacle here, along with the light coming from this creativity card. Some of you may be dealing with a distorted masculine right now. Or this could be your energies or it's both. Because when we have distorted energies, we attract people who have distorted energies. It's a law of attraction, right? So what Spirit is suggesting is that you start taking that path more towards embodying the Divine Feminine, which talks about creativity. Um, this is about 
you know, finding more creative ways to get out of these energies, right? Distorted masculine does not tap into creativity, period, because their, their masculine energies are off the charts. They're not balanced with the feminine energies. And when that happens, they get into this state where they're overly consumed by the 3D world. And it's like, I need to have this job to make money. I have to, to push through it and like work 60 hours a week. I have to, um, um, I have to have this insurance. I have to have this 401k. And yes, we all, I heard, hear this from people that I've worked with, but I have to pay the bills. Yes. Bills are a part of life, but there are, you can utilize your creativity. Do you tap into your talents, your God given talents to build a business for yourself, to make money, to do that where you have more free time. You have more freedom here. It's just like Aquarius energy with the, with the full card. You have a lot more freedom to do things and you're not being hounded by a boss. You're not having to be like, oh crap, I got to go rush to get to work before I'm late. Before I, you know, if I get, I'm late again, I'm going to get fired and all these things. No, that's not how God wanted us to live. God wants us to tap into our creative talents. It's like Ace of Wands. What, what talents God gave us to to not only create to birth something into the world it's like empress energy um but to i'm also saying three of pentacles and three of wands with this but not only to to birth something to the world but but what we we are talented at and what we create it's for the betterment of humanity it's for the greater good of humanity and that's what we need within all of us to try to raise vibration of the planet that's why I say, you guys, you were led here. You have a very specific mission. And a lot of it has to do with your God-given talents. Start tapping into this. Start doing different ways, or thinking of different ways to um, bring about abundance and prosperity, right? This could also talk about with your uh, connection with somebody, um, maybe your person or you or both of you have distorted views on what how to tap into these tr energies right here maybe it's about it's going to very well be about um kind of like being intimate with yourself really getting to know yourself and tapping into what you're really good at here. And having your life flourish. When you really have these energies emanating out of you. It's like the sun card. Abundance, prosperity. The light. And when you truly understand who you are. And again, I talked about vulnerability, right? Not being afraid of your authenticity. Your creative juices flow. And this ends up healing the distorted masculines within you. Distorted masculine energy within you. Okay. Um, If you are in a relationship already, maybe there's something here where you don't have enough time for each other. And, you know, you're all like, no, I have to do this work. I have to be at work and I have to do this and I have to make the money and I have to do that. Um, sometimes this ties into more into the males, right? And this is not pointing fingers at anybody. This is just tends to what happened because they're, they're more masculine, right? But there's a distorted masculine energy where it's all material world and work, 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 work. It's not all about work, guys. It's in Aries. You guys are very driven. You're ruled by Mars. So there's this strong ambition. And it's like, I got to get this done, but it has to be done my way, whatever. And again, that's not a horrible thing. It's just a matter of balancing that out. When you have too much of that, that makes you distorted, right? Your masculine energies become distorted because you're not tapping into more of your creativity, your abilities here. Um, somebody here has like a grand water trine or some grand trine in your chart. Um, 
if you do, that means you have a huge blessing with regards to uh, how you create things that can really, really benefit you, Aries. That's her, it's at least one person here. So if you're in a connection, as I said, you need to get away from this because it's not helping you. Maybe your health is actually failing, right? Or you're not as healthy as you used to be, or your health has been affected negatively for a long period of time. It's like you're spent, like I'm so tired, and it's affecting your, your connection here where, you know, you have to think of different ways to spend time with your partner. Um, again, maybe take more sea salt baths and just like relax here. Somebody here needs more relaxing is what I'm getting, okay? Um, and again, it's really tapping into like the spiritual nature with you and your person. All right. But also thinking of, of different ways to do things and tapping more into your, um, I don't know why I'm still holding the bottom of the deck there, tapping more into these energies here. This here, guys, it really frees up a lot of energy, okay? There's so many possibilities so whatever it is that you are talented at, Aries, do more of that. Think outside the box. Okay? Think about how you can, creative ways to be more intimate with your person. Like, get, get the sex out of the way. Okay, that's for somebody here. So, um, or maybe more creative ways of doing, having that, right? There's so many different things you can do, you know? There's Tantra, there's Tantric sex, but people are like, what the heck is that? But that is a super spiritual, like off the chart type of sexual union there. So maybe some of you might want to research that or something like that, okay? Um, do something spontaneous, you know, do something you've never done. Again, get creative with it. Stop doing the everyday, the everyday thing, the same boring thing that if you're in a relationship, that makes it a boring relationship, guys. And that's distorted masculine energy. Spirit really wants you to stop, to start tapping into, to, to things that, you know, um, you've never done. Do, yeah, some of you got to do something different. Maybe some of you have to start taking sea salt baths with your partner or something like that. Um, or if you're not with somebody, this is maybe something for your future where um, when you start looking at partnerships, it's always good to do things spontaneous. And sometimes people don't like spontaneity, but you know what? There's a sense of adventure, like Knight of Wands, like Sagittarius energy, a sense of freedom again, a sense of excitement where it's like, oh, well, I didn't realize this and I didn't think I would like that, right? It takes the boredom out of it, like Four of Cups. It takes the mundane out of something so get out of um doing the same type of routines where it's just uh, for some of you it's like too much work you are so used to getting up in the morning whatever your morning routine is you drive you commute you get to work you come back and you if you have a family you cook dinner you whatever it is you do with the family and then watch TV and then go to bed. And it's the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. And it's getting boring. It's get, you're getting complacent. You're probably actually, you, you're losing. <laughs> they want to say you're losing brain cells because your brain is not actually engaging in some like really uh, the strong mental activity for you to come up with different ideas and ways of, of, of doing things. Okay, let those expectations like fall away and, and start doing more fun things in your life. If you are musical, start playing your instrument more or start writing music or um, some of you may be too stuck on social media too. That's distorted masculine, okay, and distorted feminine. You know, just going through scrolling, scrolling, scrolling social media and, and where's the creativity in that? That's why I say you lose brain cells. I People laugh at me when I say, um, 
I've gotten off social media with, with the exception of YouTube and I still have my Instagram account, but I stopped touching it. My guide said, stop using that thing. And it's funny because they're going to ban tarot, spirituality, and astrology on all platforms soon. I know Facebook, tarot, uh, TikTok, and Instagram are going to cut that off on March 17th. That's like a month from now. So, uh, and a lot of people don't have other platforms to, to get their work done but luckily for me i have my website where i'm already preparing for this that i'm going to put all my content on my website to include my videos i have everything already ready to go um i'm just waiting for that time and i know my channel on youtube is being affected so i have to come up with creative ways to get my my guidance out there so that's something for some of you to think about especially with whatever it is that you're doing because there are going to be major changes coming and this is I'm getting Capricorn energy with this the US is going to have their Pluto return in Capricorn on the 22nd of February things are really going to shift guys so it's time to get creative and especially in your connections start doing things differently you know stop following the same routines because it's it's making you complacent it's making you it's actually keeping your energy stagnant right so do do things differently you know if you have dinner with the family go out on a picnic out on a field somewhere and, and 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 go there go to a restaurant you've never been to on a saturday go to a park you've never been to i know for me on my 40th birthday i went fishing for the first time and and with my son and it was the coolest thing it was a little bit nerve-wracking because i had never fished before but, you know, and then my son and I got creative with the whole fishing thing. We made a game out of it. So things like that, okay? And then actually build a stronger bond with me and my son. See, it doesn't have to be, you know, with, with a person because I've been single for a long time. But, you know, there was a stronger bond between my son and I when we got creative with the whole fishing thing. You see what I'm talking about? Um, the, the routines, guys, it, it creates a lot of lack of enthusiasm and it actually dulls your senses okay you're here to be live a vibrant abundant life and to have excitement everywhere and be like oh my gosh let me do this new thing oh wow i didn't realize i like this something like that okay um start using your imagination more you have a very vivid imagination start using it Okay. Do things differently to really get more intimate on a spiritual level with someone or with yourself even. It doesn't have to be with somebody else. Take it how it resonates. Remember, it's a collective reading. Okay. There's nothing wrong with doing things differently. You need, some of you need more excitement in your life. You're getting too caught up in the 3D world and you know it. And it's like, why does it have to be this way? It doesn't have to be this way. Trust me, I got caught up in the nine to five and the commutes and stuff like that. And even all this work that I was doing as a single mom, that's all gone. God said, you have these gifts, use them to your advantage. And I built a business out of it. I don't have a commute. I don't have to answer to anybody. I do things differently. You know, and I start to come up with different ways for, uh, you know, my business or what I do in my daily life, what I do with my son, that type of thing, right? Doing things differently. And before I would be a little bit afraid of that because of change, right? Or not knowing what's going to happen. Again, spontaneity, it's like you have to have more excitement in life. Otherwise, your life becomes too dull, right? What do they say about this? All work and no play makes johnny a dull boy something like that i never remember the kid's name but you guys know what i'm talking about okay if you've been planning something for somebody um now's the time to stop procrastinating on this okay this work life for some of you it's not the end all be all this is not your life it is not that is not the spiritual path and for those of you who are not on the spiritual path, 
I'm not going to lie. You're going to have a rude awakening because a lot of things are going to shift with regards to the 3D world, especially in the U.S. with the Pluto return that happens on the 22nd of February. All right. So, um... Watch how your energies are going to escalate, how they're going to shift when you tap more into this, All right? This is the, the larger energy that I'm getting from this reading. Again, take it how it resonates because some of you, you're in relationships, others of you are not. Whatever your gut's telling you based off everything I already said is what you should be following, Okay. Let's see what you need to focus on. What does Aries need to focus on? Please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. So yeah, if you guys still like watching these videos, I was planning to do other things, but apparently I'm not putting it on this platform. If you're interested in still um, watching my content, um, a lot of other readers do not have websites where they can post their videos. And Patreon might even go away too because it's owned by other people. So I would highly recommend you go to capellawellness.com and click on the sign me up button um, you'll get access to my mobile app and you'll get, you know, um, access to, to content because at some point my content's all going to be on my web space. All right. We have the Knight of Swords. This is fast energy. It's the fastest energy in the deck. It's the fastest knight in the deck. This guy is the go-getter. All right. I'm going to do, come do, I'm going to do this come hell or high water. This is about being laser focused on your mission. This is like spontaneity and having this lightning energy to just get off and go. Because, you know, with this horse, it's already galloping, right? This is not like some sort of trot or something like that. This is the person who just takes off and, and does things without anybody getting in their way. Because they know that they have a mission to fulfill. Um, they know that they need to, to go after what it is that they really want to do or what God essentially wants them to do because... So this knight has the sort of truth here, okay? And um, this is the divine truth of God. This is uh, life's lessons and ideas and thoughts like I talked about. Um, if you get hit, you maybe for some of you, you're going to get hit with some sort of brilliant idea, okay? Whatever this is, Aries, run with it. Don't procrastinate don't wait on it whatever idea or thought that you get just go and do it all right take action this is very highly um a high action oriented individual okay so they really want you to embody the energy of this knight of swords here and um, this is also someone who's very mission-based. Someone who, um, it's like a champion of the people, right? This is like a knight, like very chivalrous. Someone who fights for the king and queen. Uh, they don't care what's, what's going to come their way. They're, they just know that they're being driven by the light, by God, the, yeah, the light of God, the purpose of their mission and they're not going to worry about whether they're going to fail they're going to fall off their horse or anything like that okay there might be some sort of like air energy surrounding you or you're dealing with an air sign gemini libra aquarius or you have that in your chart where some of you um if you have this in your chart need to utilize this energy more and to start you know thinking of different ways to do things again with the creativity and some of you you're going to get hit with i'm hearing it again you're going to get hit with some sort of brilliant idea um something that's going to change your life this could be something that comes out of nowhere it could be an unexpected event here i did say something did i say a tower card yeah i think i did even though it's not the tower card this is like 
This could mean sudden changes. This could even mean that maybe uh, some of you might be relocating. There might be a life-changing event happening here. Um, that is really going to get you on your path, okay? That's why we have the spiritual maturity card here. Either some of you, you know, either you're getting stagnant or, or complacent on your, your growth, your spiritual growth, or you still haven't started this yet. Or maybe your person you think is kind of slowing down or, or not doing anything, but they don't want you to focus on your person's journey if that's resonating with you. What they want you to focus on, this is laser focus on your mission. Okay? Stay in your lane. Stick to your path. All right? They really want you to have this, this really ambitious energy to just stay focused on the task at hand. And for some of you, this has to do with your spiritual growth. Um, and as I said, there's some of, others of you who are going to get this like brilliant idea that's going to change a lot of things for you. There could also be somebody coming into your life out of nowhere that is going to be life changing. This could be someone who's going to come save the day or uh, somebody who's going to completely change your life. And um, it's unexpected. All right, because this is so fast, you're not going to see it coming. And um, if this is a person coming in, I said spontaneous, right? <laughs> Some of you may not like spontaneous stuff, but apparently you can't lie with the tarot here. This is Knight of Swords. Something's coming in to really change things up for you. Okay, so there's some spontaneity here. Um, and they don't want you to get caught up in the 3D world saying, well, wait a minute. This this can't enter my life. This is going to des destroy everything. This is going to interrupt everything. Now, what I'm getting for some uh, others of you here, it's like, yeah, someone might come in and disrupt your whole world because some of you are like very to the T with routines or something or very work oriented. It could be where uh, this person comes in and there might be a, um, I'm seeing something with the lines of an invitation to like a romantic dinner or uh, a romantic getaway, okay? And this is about them wanting to get to know you on a more, intimate level a deeper level but not sex period so if some of you are being invited out uh, on a date or on a trip all right i said something different right spontaneity here this could be your person being very creative and coming in out of nowhere it's like hey you know what we need to talk or we need to really get down to something i'm hearing something about unfinished business like five of swords and they have this like idea. There might even be like a balloon ride for somebody. I don't know why, because I see the balloon, a hot air balloon here. Um, it's like, come with me. Let's go do this. All right. I I just want to. They might be getting becoming intimate with you and telling you the truth or something. They're like, I need to come in and tell Aries the truth. I need to to say something, but. Again, the spontaneity here, it's because this person is trying to show you that they're very serious about this and they're very ambitious and they they want to come in and not only tell the truth, but they want to, to show you um, the drastic changes that they have made with regards to their, their spiritual growth, right? Again, that's for some of you, not for all of you, because some of you, you have to be patient with... Um, the spiritual growth their path right you have to be patient with what the other person is doing so this person might be coming in you're thinking that oh well you know this is not happening or it's taking a while and then see this is the fastest energy it comes in like lightning all right and this person may be like let's go on this trip let's go do this and you're gonna have to drop everything Okay, don't get into distorted masculine energy. You're going to have to drop anything, everything, because look what's at the bottom of the deck. It's the two of cups. There could be some union here. 
and it comes out of nowhere and you're like, what just happened? And then your whole life is going to change because this is a life changing event. These are drastic life changes. Sudden events happening and it could very well be that this union is coming out of nowhere. You see that? And this person may be like, okay, you know what? I'm ready to give and receive love. Let's have this heart to heart conversation because both of you are aligned now. This is for some, not for all. And they really want to get to know you. And they're coming up with some very creative ways to do this. You may be dealing with a Pisces, I heard. So, but it doesn't have to be. All right. It's your soulmate. It's your light counterpart. It's your twin flame here. That's, that's coming out of the blue. And there's going to be a lot of things that are going to be shifting here. And what spirit doesn't want you to do is to get caught up in distorted masculine energy saying, well, wait, 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 you can't come in right now. Again, it's not your time. It's God's timing. Um, I have to work. I have to do this. There's a reason why this person is coming in at this speed. It could be a test for some of you to see if like, if you've been seeking union, do you really want this or not type of thing? God, it's almost like God's going to test you to see if you're going to go back to these distorted masculine energies instead of the, this spiritual connection, right? This deep bond between, soul bond between you two. Are you going to focus on the soul connection between you two, right? Which is what true intimacy is, or you're going to get caught back into, you know, distorted masculine energies? Or are you going to think that your person is still, you know, uh, trying to control you or people or things or they're still focused on work or something like that there, there's 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 a huge shift not only in your life areas but with this person others of you who are already in connections this is about you coming up with these brilliant ideas and just taking off with them to to rekindle something to deepen the bond between you two um, there's something about magnetic attraction here like maybe because if you're in a relationship your connection is just it's boring and maybe the sex is boring or you're not having sex, period. But doing all these creative things is going to help you get more in alignment, more on the same page, more uh, closely bonded, okay? So again, take it how it resonates. There's, there's a lot of different uh, scenarios here. So, but either way, something's got to drastically change. There's the Knave of Pentacles at the bottom. It's a page of Pentacles. There's communication coming in. I said, somebody's going to tell the truth. This person's going to be very honest, loyal, and dedicated. It's coming in real fast. This communication is really going to change things. And yeah, it does involve a union for some of you. Others of you, again, learning something new, learning to do things differently with regards to your marriage, with your connection, whatever this is for you. It's like, you know what? I'm going to learn a new skill. Let me try something different here. And, and really rekindle this this connection, this marriage, whatever this is. It's, it's, it's different for everybody. Ah, Knight of Pentacles. See, at some point, right, this is kind of like taking a long time to do something, uh, postponing stuff or procrastinating, going very slow, slow energy. If it's your counterpart, Aries, this person spent a lot of time working on a very solid, stable offer. They're very, very serious. I said that about them coming in. They took a long time because they want to get this right this time. That's why with this creativity card here, for so those of you where your person is coming back, could be your, your divine masculine is returning um, to speak their truth and all this stuff. Not only did they take a long time to heal, right? I talked about that, their path, and they know this. But they know that it's a, it was based on divine timing here. They also spent a lot of time focusing on the details of this date, this trip, whatever creative thing they did. Wrote you a song. I don't know. All of the above. They worked very hard on this. Not only did they work incredibly hard on their healing, they worked incredibly hard on this offer they're bringing to you. They, I keep hearing, I want to get it right it keeps repeating in my head i'm having some of these divine masculines come tell me this they really worked hard on this offers they want to get it right 
we saw the page and now we have this guy. This means that this person coming in is no longer the in and out Knight of Swords, which is the shadow side of this guy who cannot control his energies. This is the very trustworthy, loyal, dedicated individual out of all the knights. But who's also very focused on staying on his path of truth here and wanting to do what is right. Okay? This is also the person who takes responsibility for their actions and their life's choices. For some of you, they know that they have to come in correct. They have to come in with honesty and integrity, right? Trustworthiness here. But they know it's like, if I don't come in now, like I could totally lose this. But it may very well be that God specifically told them, it's time for you to go, Aries. Okay. Oh, I just heard you might have Chiron in Aries. Huh. Or your person has Chiron in Aries. Take how it resonates. They just told me this. This is interesting. I've never gotten this when, when reading for you guys. Anyway. Neither you or someone's worked very hard on this. But this is a very trustworthy individual who's coming in. Even though they're blazing through here, this offer is going to change your life here. All right. So Aries, don't, don't get caught up in the routine of things because this is going to change your life. It could even be where it, whatever this offer is, it could even change your finances where... You won't have to, oh gosh, you won't have to worry about money ever again, is what I just heard, all right? But yeah, there's like, for some, it's a fast union. Others of you, this is about getting those ideas, doing things differently to, um, to give some sort of vitality to your connection with your spouse or your soulmate whoever this is all right again i channel a lot of things so take what resonates with your story but to be honest with yourself what do you need to avoid okay queen of wands that's your energy aries leo sagittarius oh my god we have the counterparts king of wands Ooh, i said the empress and the ace of cups okay all right, Aries, nine of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Okay, for those of you who are dealing with this union that's coming out of nowhere, all right, it is going to be life-changing. You are going to be greatly rewarded for all the hard work that you've put in. I'm also hearing that your person has also put in the hard work, okay? Um, you learn how to be happily single, you built something for yourself. Maybe you built your own business here, Aries. Or maybe this is telling you. If... Okay, hold on. Because there's two different groups. And they... oh God, all these messages are flooding in, guys. For those of you where this union is coming in because you are ready, both of you are now fully aligned, as I said. Right? You are now going to, to continue on your path as a divine couple. Um to finish your healing and to start being examples of what a divine couple is. For those of you who are, are at that timeline, you've put in a lot of the hard work and you believed in yourself. You learned how to be happily single. Some of you built your own business with your creative talents. Okay. Um, you no longer have fear-based thinking. You're so harmonious in your environment that you probably forgot you were in a light counterpart connection, period. You forgot that you were in separation, right? This is why in final separation, you get to this point where you're like, you don't worry about union. You don't worry about separation. There's no more pain. There's no more drama. There's like the, the Mary J. Blige song. There's no more um, suffering. There's no more thinking about the what ifs. You're so engrossed in your, your, your spiritual work here that you are creating abundance for yourself. And because you're elevating at that high level, you're attracting this union of coming in, all right? You're going to be greatly rewarded for your efforts, for your hard labor. And I did say, it. there's something about money. Your financial status is going to change. And I said again that you're not going to worry about it anymore. 
because there is abundance here. Again, it's pentacles, so there's money here. And see, the nine, there's something ending. If you're having financial hardships, Aries, you're, that's going to change. All right. So look, we have the Ace of Cups. It's the new beginning in love. True love is coming in. Why? Because you uh, focus on self-love. You started to drink from the divine cup of God and that, that, that purification of that water went through you and it flowed out of you to where it, you started to attract unconditional love. You started to attract this, this, this energy of purification and renewal and rejuvenation and you've been more at peace with yourself because in the rider weight, there is a dove right at the top of that chalice. So you have become closer to God. You understand what unconditional love truly is, that it is the ultimate thing that heals not only you, but it heals everybody else. Because why? When one is healed, all are healed. There's great healing here that you've accomplished and so is your person. And because you have found your own fulfillment, right? That's what the Nine of Pentacles does. Happily single, built a business out of something that would, uh, she, he or she did something that was really creative. Um, you found your holy grail where it brings you the ultimate bliss and fulfillment. You're living a blissful life on your own. And because of that, your vibration is now at the violet flame level. And you are now calling in the love of a lifetime. Okay? Your love life is changing too. King of Wands and Queen of Wands. We have the Carn of Parts, guys. There it is. With the Empress... You didn't stop shining your light. You were emanating that light to the world because you found that light within because of the fact that you found this fulfillment. And again, for some of you who built businesses, these are entrepreneurs right here. These are very successful business people. All right. Some Again, if it doesn't resonate with you, don't worry about that. But you have to be honest in, in understanding what is, is part of your story here. So some of you, yeah, you've built a business and you are radiating this light to others and you're so charismatic, you're so lovable. Maybe you're very attractive on the outside, but there's something about you on the inside that is very attractive. There's a huge liking to you here, Aries, where for those of you who've done the work, it's like this: you embody both of these energies. You've achieved this tremendous amount of spiritual growth, spiritual strength, king and queen of light here. The light that you have is so bright that it's just, it's starting to change people's um, lives in a sense. This is, this is true leadership here, especially with regards to spirituality. You might already be a spiritual leader or you're going to move to the next level of being some really highly prominent sought after spiritual leader, something like that. Because you've come into your own. That's the energy of the Nine of Pentacles with the Empress here. You are operating fully from your divine feminine Christ energy. There's abundance here. Again, with the abundance, guys, I keep saying for some of you, you, your finances are really changing. So is your like status as regards to where you are, is your spiritual teaching or something like that. But um, you've tapped into your creativity here fully. And you've created something quite masterful for yourself. You took action. You had a lot of tremendous courage and confidence to take risks. Because you were always following your divine guidance. You had this vision as to what you wanted to achieve. The visionary leader, right? Very strong. Strong will, but not strong will to the point where you're overly fiery and temperamental and controlling. That's for some, not for all, because the other group, you have to get away from those energies. So you really, again, you shine your light so brightly. It's like you are living this amazing life right now on your own because you're so high vibrational. These are very high vibrational cards. This is violet flame stuff. All of this stuff is violet flame stuff. The highest frequency of all, right? And because you stepped fully into your divine feminine power here, Aries, 
You know your worth. You don't go outside of yourself to seek validation or to know that you're a badass or to know that you are beautiful or abundant or inspiring or intelligent. None of that stuff. You know that fully on your own. And you don't need anyone to tell you this. That's why you are so... I mean, this attractiveness here... For some of you, man, with the Empress and the Queen of Wands, it's like either people view you as this like really hot individual, but it's both inside and outside, but they also see you with a lot of power. Your aura is like magnetic here. This is mag magnetism here, being magnetic with the Empress. And, and then I think for some of you, it's going to be magnified. Like you're really going to be at the top here and more people are going to be really drawn to you. Okay. Um, and this is also because you're so powerful right now. And especially with your light being so bright, you are attracting this love into your life. You're attracting your counterpart. See, your counterpart has achieved spiritual mastery and, and um, growth. So for those of you who are doubting if your person has done that work, you can't, the tarot doesn't lie. We saw King, uh, the Knight of Pentacles, and now we have these people here, the counterparts. You guys are now vibrating at the same level. And your person's light is very bright too, which means that your person is now willing to take action. Like I said, you may be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, but it doesn't have to be. Or they have Aries in their chart or fire in their chart or something, or you do, or both. But this person, nothing shakes the King of Wands. The King of Wands doesn't have any fear about taking risks, about just going for it. Because he has the Ace of Wands in his hands. He knows God's light is with him. God's wisdom is with him. He uses the fire energy from this wand to burn away any challenges, any uncertainties, any fears. That's why these are super fearless people. And for your person, Aries, they are doing the same. They're now ready to make things happen. And that's why it's going to come as a shock to you. You're like, whoa, what happened to you? You're going to see how different they're going to be. This is also about super creative abilities here. They These people have are very talented with whatever God-given gifts they've given them, and they utilize that to their advantage, which is why they are king and queen, okay? You've attracted this person. You're magnetized, right? You're... Um, the magnetic attraction is, is you can't avoid that. So because you are vibrating at this Aries, you're attracting the same, your counterpart. Your counterpart's at the level now. You can't, can't make it up. Others of you, with regards to your spiritual path, like I said, either you still haven't gotten on it or you're kind of like, Getting caught up in the 3D world, thinking, I can't do my healing, I can't do this. No, 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 no. You got it. You, that's distorted masculine. It's not divine. It's not divine. So some of you have to really start tapping more into this, like I said. Creativity, creativity, creativity. Some of you really need to start reintegrating the divine feminine into your lives to tap more into this energy that she is excellent these two combine excellent with regards to doing utilizing their creative talents and birthing those things right, right into the physical right those ideas you have a creative thought and then you have this idea oh let me take action on it and then you start again creating some of you need to start creating more. We don't see pentacles in here, right? It's wands with an empress here. This is really about you either building a business with your creative talents like I talked about 
or it's just like it doing this creative stuff is really going to brighten the luminosity of your light and you're going to get to these levels right here and for those of you in counterpart connections you become this incredible leader here and you end up attracting the love of a lifetime with somebody who's as ambitious who's as courageous and fearless and creative and in magnetic and charismatic as you are that's why when you're focusing on yourself here you start to attract someone who's as powerful as you are that's why law of attraction works but some of you you may be like all work or no play you're trying to control things. This is a serious amount of control, guys. This is totally your energy right here. A lot of you, your feminine energies are way too low. That's why distorted masculine is here. You are focusing too much on the 3D world. Work, 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 work. I said it, it makes you dull. Some of you, you're having very boring lives. That's why you have to tap more into this, Aries. You have to stop being so controlling, so authoritarian. It cannot be your way or the highway. It's according to God's will, not yours, Aries. If you haven't noticed by now, the more control you have, are things working out for you? Or is or are you living in a barren world here? Do you feel abundant at all? Because the Empress in this position, for the other group, there's no abundance here. Because I read these as like the shadow side of these cards, of what you need to avoid. For That's for the other group. You don't feel abundant. Your life feels like dry and barren. There's nothing growing here because you're not creating anything. That's not how life is supposed to be meant. The more you try to control things, the more you're trying to control the will of God, it backfires every time. And then you have lack of energy. You're putting so much of your energy into stuff that is not growing. You're planting weeds instead of seeds. Because you're putting all of that energy that God gave to you, your creative talent or that creative energy into the 3d world that's why for some of you it seems like nothing is flourishing right with this ace of cups here you got to do some self-reflection you're gonna have to really look in the mirror and be like what is it that i'm doing <clears throat> you don't feel renewed you don't feel rejuvenated there's no freshness here you feel stagnant. You feel like drained. You feel tired. Again, it's for some, not for all. You're juggling too many things. You're trying to control too many things. It cannot be your way or the highway, Aries. Taking too much control. Is you going against the wind? Like you're going upstream. Right? You're in this wind tunnel. You're like, no, I'm going to go push through. And I'm going to get there and keep getting blown back and blown back. And knowing that God's like, okay, Aries, that's enough. When you control the wheel of fate or you try to, you get hit with more negative karma. You get hit with more of those lessons. And when that happens, you keep pushing and pushing and pushing away your abundance. Abundance in all forms, not just money. You do not have to work crazy hours to live an abundant, wealthy life. You don't. 
you get to the Empress energy where you are co-creating with God based on your God-given talents and you attract it into your life. She barely lifts a finger. She is the Empress. She utilizes that divine guidance from God and she creates what she, God's telling her to do. She's patient and she says, okay, God, now you do your part and God works his miracles. What she put in, God gave back to her, especially with regards to material wealth. She takes some of that money and she gives back to the universe because that's the law of equal give and take. What you give to the universe, you get back. She doesn't control everything. Because she knows how to work with God to create her abundance. On top of that, she knows how to delegate. Both of these people delegate to others. They don't put in crazy hours either. They do their part. But they also know how to work with God. And they have people who help them and they say, hey, so-and-so take care of this, take care of that, take care of that. They do not do everything because they know that's going to be a waste of their energy, waste of their talents. Because if they have no energy to rule, what do you think is going to happen to their empire, to their kingdom? Mass chaos, right? This is not what God wants for you. So you really need to start looking at what are ways to um, create more and finding what ultimately fulfills you. Because for some of you right now, your nine to five job is not doing it and you know that. If you're living a base, if you're, li if you're living life based off of your job, your money, material things, with the astrological transits are happening this year. And again, the U.S.'s Pluto return is happening in a few, in about a week and a half. It, it's going to change drastically. The U.S.'s economy is going to change things about careers and jobs, workplaces, employment, whatever is going to change. Just watch. It's going to be very difficult for those who are not on their spiritual path yet to deal with what's coming. And I'm basing it off the astrology, okay? But the tarot's just like adding to that. You got to, you know, it, everything's not about money or control. That's the devil energy. The devil is trying to keep you tied to him, okay? Look what's underneath this. It's the Eight of Wands. Some of you are doing way too much. Way too much. And then you're putting all this energy into things that are not going to, to, to give you abundance or flourish. That's why some of you, you're like, you're running out of steam or you have barely any energy to do anything. Because you're putting your energy into things that are not for your highest good, that are not for the divine, and they're not for the greater good of humanity. It could very well be a lot of your energy you're putting in is for yourself. And I have to say it like it is, Aries. But this is no knock on you. I say it this way because if I do not tell you the truth, I'm doing myself a disservice. I'm not following my mission. I'm not listening to what my guides want to say. And I'm not actually helping you. It cannot be all rainbows, puppies, and unicorns all day, every day. My vibration can be there. But when it comes to my mission work... Again, you cannot have dark without light. The cold hard truth has to be revealed in order for you to get to where God wants you to be so that you can have the true material wealth and the abundance in all forms with great health and vitality and the money, right? But you're attracting that because your vibration is so high. You got to stop putting energies into things, into your job all the time. It affects your relationships, it affects your marriage, it affects everything and you know it. So it's time for you to change the game and start taking action 
on things that are more for related to your mission, your divine mission. Then I talk about the tower. They said, look after the eight of wands. You guys are trying to avoid the inevitable. You have to let go of control. You just have to, Aries. And you know it deep down inside because it hasn't been working for you for years. Especially if you have no energy to do anything else. What kind of life is that? That's not living. It's not Aries. Something's got to change. Some of you may very well be getting tower moments and you keep saying, nope, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing because I have to do it my way. Why? Why? God's going to continue to intervene until you get it, Aries. And you're going to keep saying, oh my God, why do I have to have this job? Why do I have to have this life? I have to put these freaking bills and all this stuff. It does not have to be that way. It does not. You have to follow this path. Not, it's, the, it's the law of God, not the law of man. It's the path of God, not the path of man. Okay? This is not the life you're supposed to live. So the next time God intervenes, Aries, you better start listening because otherwise you will continue to get hit with karma and hit tower after tower after tower. And there's nothing I can do about that. That's all God's doing. That's why I said it's God's will, not yours. The others of you, I talked about coming into union. Oh yeah, your life is going to change very quickly, very quickly for the better. Because you've done the work. There's communication coming out of the blue. Maybe you're having somebody visit you out of the blue. This is the energy right here. You're having an unexpected visitor very soon. And because because this is air, it's 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 got to be the eight of wands. Oh my God, guys. This is fast. You're going to get fast communication out of nowhere. And you're going to get a visitor. Like, where did you come from? Yes, tower moment. I said sudden life changes that I not. Guys. Your life is really, really going to drastically change. So are your finances. Okay? Things start taking off. If you have a business, it's been a little bit stagnant, nothing's going on. Some divine intervention, God is coming in to change that. Because your vibration is just so high, you're attracting this and God's like, here you go. Aries, I'm changing it for you. And your business is going to take off. Oh my God. Craziness. I'm getting goosebumps. Yep, they're confirming that. For those of you who were like ready to go. Oh my God. Just wait till you see what is coming for you, Aries. I already see it, but they're like, don't say anything. Wow, you're going to be so shocked. Again, the energy of the tower, they want me to show it again. <laughs> you're going to be so surprised and so shocked. You're going to be like, holy cow, this is also Cupid's arrows are coming in too. Your love life, your business, your, your life, um, all of it is changing drastically. Make sure you give gratitude to God because... God is really doing some significant work to make all of this happen for you. Let's see what your guidance is. What guidance do we have for Aries? Thank you, Spirit. Lapis Lazuli, make a decision. What are you going to do, Aries? Rhoda Knight. Find a way to forgive. Okay. Oh, I forgot the other message with this. Independence. Some of you. Are, might, if this person comes in, you might still have reservations about this person. If they're still like, you know, with this highly sexually charged energy. Um. They still want it their way of the highway. And 
because you've been living life so happily single, you're probably reluctant to to have this person come back in your life and to, to start have a new beginning, this new love here. Um, because you may be still thinking about the past or you're thinking, no, you know what? I'm fine on my own. Independence, independence, right? I've got my business. I've got this, you know, I'm happily single. I'm loving myself, right? This is all actually about loving myself. I'm shining my light. Things are going good. And then this person comes in and you're like, wait, what? No, but I'm good. But Aries, I'm going to tell you, you are not living on an island alone. The divine order does not say that any one person is supposed to be living alone. There is a counterpart for everyone. If you look at nature, do you see most animals who are by themselves completely? No. So if you're thinking about, nope, I'm good. I, I, I don't need anybody. That means you're not true divine feminine. I have to say it. I talk about this in my reintegrating the divine feminine class. If you can't forgive, if you think that you're going to, you know, you're fine on your own, that you have to control everything, that you have to lead everything, nope, it's not part of the divine order. The divine masculine is the one who's supposed to lead the family, the home, and um, uh, provide and protect for the empress, for the divine feminine. Also providing and protecting the family, the home, and the divine feminine, as I said. That is the divine masculine's role. But that does not mean that the divine masculine controls the divine feminine, the empress. Because remember, the empress has a counterpart, the emperor. Okay? We all know that about a tarot. Most of you should know that. She's married. She's married. She rules with her emperor. Why do you think that when you have monarchies, there is a king and a queen? Yeah, if you want to look at England, there's still the queen there, but that's a whole different story. If you look at other, you know, monarchies or in, in, in history, there was a king and a queen, okay? It wasn't like some sort of dictatorship to, to rule because God needs you to be not only to have both energies within you, but that is the role that God gave each of you. And what's happened is we've overstepped our boundaries. That's why there's distorted masculines and distorted feminines. Distorted masculines don't respect the feminines and they try to take control over everything. They get caught up in the 3D world. Distorted feminines, they um, try to take control of everything too. They don't want to work with anybody. They said, nope, I'm good on my own. I don't need anybody's help. I'm going to do this myself. That's the energy of these guys, the shadow guys. They're, they're very, very, um, they could be very egotistical and be like, you know what? No, I'm doing it my way or the highway. Um, that's not part of the divine order. That's why with all the distorted energy, what's happened is the feminine masculines are overstepping their boundaries and they're trying to step into the roles of the other. This is where we need to come back from. That's why he said nobody lives on an island alone. We were not designed to live completely alone and do things completely independent. We need each other. That is how God intended it to be. So if you get caught up in the past and you have a hard time forgiving and you're thinking that, no, I'm, I can do this on my own. You're going to miss out on everything that I just said. You may think that you're abundant now and you, I'm good with the money. There's a bigger windfall of money coming for you. When your counterpart comes in, that is going to um, magnify the amount of wealth that you will come into. 
the masculine ends up saying, you know what? I'm going to, to let me take the lead. Let me provide for you. It doesn't mean that the empress doesn't have control because she wouldn't be an empress. The empress has her own leadership. That's why she is, she has her own throne, okay? But she's the one who's supposed to be the leader in nurturing, caretaking, unconditional love. Her unconditional love for herself and others is what gives, who helps the masculine thrive so that he can fulfill that arduous task of providing and protecting for the family, the home, the divine feminine. That is a huge role to undertake, but that is what God designed them to be. They have that leadership role. You have the leadership role with having that love and compassion and having that light and being an example to others of what a true divine feminine is. She's not trying to overstep her boundaries. She's not trying to take the role of the divine masculine, nor is the divine masculine trying to take control of the empress or take overstep his role with what she needs to fulfill. It's what Mars and Venus are really supposed to exemplify. And it's funny because today is the day that Mars and Venus conjunct exactly 16 degrees of Capricorn with the full moon in Leo. And look at all this like fire Leo energy, okay? She leads by creating, by birthing. We give, feminines give life to the world. And masculines protect that life. That is part of the divine order. You do not control the feminine. The feminine does not control the masculine. That's not a divine counterpart. Partnership. So I'm going to read the Lapis Lazuli card. I got to sneeze first. Achoo! All right. Make a decision. Decisions, decisions. We spend so much time trying to avoid them. There is a time to be thoughtful and contemplative, and then there is a time to make a choice. Avoid the trappings of staying in limbo and commit to the decisions you make. Your inner wisdom will guide you, but it's up to you to see your choice through. Let go of your need for a backup plan or escape route and trust that you have made the right decision for you. Invest yourself fully in your choices. You can always change your mind, but you have to make up your mind first. When do you struggle to make decisions? When are you afraid to commit to decisions? What can you do right now to make good choices? Your affirmation is, I am committed and decisive. Today, make a decision, no matter how big or small, and commit to it 100%. That's kind of the energy of the Knight of Pentacles, too, which we saw. Rhoda Knight. Okay. Find a way to forgive. There is freedom and forgiveness. It's natural to react when others hurt or betray us, but if you can move past the layers of blame, resentment, anger, disappointment, or frustration, you can free yourself from this negativity and toxicity. When you are able to forgive, you empower yourself rather than letting your emotions have power over you. Forgiving someone, however, doesn't mean that you condone what they have done. It simply allows you to release your ties to that experience so you can move on. At its core, all forgiveness is self-serving. Are you holding any grudges or holding on to resentment or anger towards someone in your life? What would it feel like to forgive? Your affirmation is forgiveness starts with me. Today, choose one person, yourself or another, and start moving toward forgiveness. I have to say, Aries, this might be triggering, but I don't care because I speak my truth and I speak what my guides want to say what I'm channeling for you to be a true divine feminine. You have to learn to forgive. If you cannot forgive, you are not true divine feminine. For me, that is divine feminine Christ, Christ consciousness. Why? Because Christ always forgave everyone, even Judas, even Peter. And look what Judas did. Judas ended up leading. Uh, what Judas did ended up 
um, with um, Jesus Christ on the cross. But Jesus forgave him anyway. Because he had compassion. Because he really knew why Judas did it. So I have to say, if you cannot forgive, you are still distorted. Forgiveness is a divine quality. Amongst everything else that the Empress embodies, and the Divine Feminine embodies, without forgiveness, you are not truly divine. Let's see what your... Um, your love life what's going on in your love life what guidance we have wait don't rush into it allow nature to take its course what was i saying just go with the flow it's divine timing it's god's plan your life becomes a lot more peaceful when you just go with the flow and you don't push it you don't force it you don't rush it let love come to you aries don't go to it. If you are a female, you are not here to chase, period. A divine feminine, a true divine feminine does not chase. She attracts. That's the energy of the empress, right? Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. Don't let the shadow side of the king of wands and the queen of wands get to you. Being temperamental and being like, no, oh, it's my way. And nope, I'm not forgiving. Nope, I'm not doing this. No. Don't let the ego get the best of you. I talked about being egotistical, right? That is the devil getting to you. You know you are not that, Aries. You know what is the right thing to do. Follow that. You're going to be incredibly rewarded when you really do the just and righteous thing. Bottom of the deck, life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. What was... They're just confirming that, Aries. Just go with the flow. Just go with the flow. That's all you got to do. Watch how your life drastically changes. All right? Stop controlling there's a huge choice you need to make. You're either going to continue being consumed by this 3D world or you're going to follow your spiritual path of truth. And I did say, for those who are not following their spiritual path with all the astrological transits, you are going to have a very, very challenging time. All right? It's based on the astrology. But you have to, it, it's time to, to make a decision. Don't try to plan everything. Don't try to have a routine because it's like, oh my God, I can't have this happen. No, it's not according to you. It's according to what God tells you to do. All right. Okay, Aries. If you would like a personal reading with me or a coaching session, you want to work with me on this stuff, check out the description box below or hop on over to capellawellos.com. Check out my service suite there. <clears throat> I have two more classes for my Reintegrating the Divine Feminine. I highly recommend that class. Information on that is in the description box below. Or if you go to capellawellis.com, go to the coaching category and you will see the listing for my last two classes there. Um, I also have new um, readings available that are more affordable and there's like kind of a quicker um, time frame to get them out there. I listed all of those new readings in the description box below. Um, if you have any questions about this reading or anything at else, please feel free to reach out to me. Don't be afraid. I might sound like I'm coming down on you, but I'm not because I do have to give a little tough love in order to get people going on things. But trust me, you know, I had to give myself tough love too. So don't be afraid to reach out to me if you feel the need to um, about whatever it is that might be pressing on your mind. If you go to capellawellness.com, there are plenty of other ways to keep in contact with me there, okay? Or if you sign up to my website, click on the sign me up button at capellawellness.com, 
and you'll get information to stuff on how to uh, get access to my private mobile app. That's free. And um, with regards to what I said earlier, at some point I'm moving all of my YouTube content to my own website. I can create channels there. I can go live there. So if by any chance you see that I've disappeared and I haven't made an announcement yet, you know where I'll be. It'll be at CapellaWellis.com, all right? All right, Aries, that concludes your weekly reading. Thank you so very much for watching this video, for subscribing to this channel if you haven't already, and for illuminating that thumbs up button. I greatly appreciate it. I wish you the best today and always. I send you so, so much love, and I hope I illuminated your well-being today. Again, this is Jess from Capella Wellness, starring out. Thank you.